Okay. Yeah, I'm doing that. Yesterday really sucked. I I have vertigo issues, and when they trigger, it can be really, really annoying. And the night before, at about 1 a.m., I woke up. I went to bed at 11:30, and I woke up just pukey sick, and with the spins. And I went back to bed, and it's almost impossible to sleep when you have vertigo because the room is moving. So I laid there, I took the pills, it didn't help. I got up the next day, my face itches, I'm trying not to scratch. I got up yesterday and tried to force my way through it, took a water pill because water pills help, diuretics. I don't take the meclizine unless it's last resort because A, meclizine gets me incredibly stoned. I'm just not a happy camper stoned and you build up tolerance to it. So I haven't taken meclizine yet. The vertigo itself seems to have relieved mostly at about 4 a.m. this morning and I fell asleep and I slept until 8 a.m. and yeah it's my sleep for the last three days so five hours six hours of sleep in three days a couple days ago I wrote in here yeah it's pink give up that today maybe it's supposed to be tomorrow is today Tuesday or Monday I have lost track of time well we're doing it today because I thought that I didn't yeah I don't know what day it is. I'll check my phone later. Well, can I check my phone while recording? No, it doesn't tell me. Ah, it is Tuesday. Yes! Modern technology. So I wrote down that I was going to talk about monogamy versus polygamy versus honesty in relationships and how society encourages cheating. <laughs> Erp. Looking down and spinning my chair at the same time is not a good combination really not a good combination. I'm on my, this is my second cup of coffee. It's still really, really hot. I haven't drank it yet. Let's see. Still boiling hot. Haven't eaten anything yet today. It's 2.30. I broke the household rule and got in the shower by myself because I stank of sweat and, and fever and I just needed a shower really bad. So yeah, he's gonna be mad about that. Oh well. Well, he's not mad when I don't fall. He's only mad when I fall. Okay. Let's start by defining a few of these phrases. Monogamy. Modern society says that monogamy is one man, one woman, one woman, one woman, one man, one man. Whatever your combination. Till death do us part. We are soulmates. All of that. You are the only one. You complete me. I've heard my more religious friends talk about they caught themselves in an affair, in a uh, uh, projected affair with their barista because they were fantasizing about their barista, so they have to go to a different coffee shop. If you can't trust yourself, I... Polygamy. Polly. And not Islander. is a lot more about emotions than sex. It's a lot more about intellectual intimacy than sexual intimacy for most of the people I know who are poly. Some of them, is, they're just players and they're in the scene faking it. Honesty in relationships. A large number of people, back when I was counseling a lot, a large number of people are not honest in their relationships. They're not honest about their expectations. They're not honest about what they think, what they want, what they expect. Without that honesty, you don't have a relationship. And the rant itself is about how society encourages cheating. Let me set that down. Our society, our pop culture, everything you see... I've got that cord trapped on this chair again. You have to understand, I pull this, this whole lamp comes crashing down on me if I'm not paying attention. Stay. Chair, go that way. Um, the idea that you're having an affair with the barista, 
because you're fantasizing about the barista, the coffee shop guy, the coffee shop girl. That's not consensual. Let's just, let's just say that right away. You're not having a relationship with them, you're having a fantasy. Because they don't know about it. Because they're not part of it. So it's not a relationship. Are you having unhealthy fantasies about the barista? Probably, and you should probably go to a different coffee shop. But don't call it a relationship. Does that make sense to you? Okay. <sighs> I'm trying to collect my thoughts. The All of the movies, all of the songs, right now society is starting to wake up to the fact that the last 5,000 years of human evolution of Western civilization has has spent an unhealthy amount of time focusing on younger woman and older man. Isn't it romantic? And they're only just now starting to go, oh, wait a minute, maybe that's a problem. Maybe R. Kelly's a problem. Yeah, he's a unicorn. He only likes virgin girls. He's going to keep trading down. Okay, that's society. Our society ignored Michael Jackson. Those of us who pay attention have spent the last 20 years going, that dude's a perv, that dude's disgusting. And having our, our normie friends going, you're just, you want to ruin everything, don't you? bullshit getting pushback. It's like the dude sleeping with little kids. That's because he's emotionally stunted and they're his age. No, no, it's not. We've spent decades pushing against this and having people tell us we're wrong. It's annoying. When I was a teenager, no, preteen, there was a movie you take my breath away. In which a high school guy on his way to college is teaching music and singing at the local mall. And a pre-high school girl has a crush on him and gets a makeover at the mall and looks like she's 16. So they start dating. And it's the whole movie is about this 13-year-old dating this 18-year-old, and it's so romantic, and he's so noble because he tries to walk away. Excuse me? Okay? This movie's still out there. Somebody or another shared one of the songs on my Facebook feed the other day, and I was like, do you know what that movie is about? You might want to go watch that again. Most of society doesn't see a problem with it. She's mature. No, she's not. Okay. Now, going to relationships between two consenting adults, whether it's monogamy or polygamy, society tells us you're going to fall in love with your coworker. You're going to crush on that guy that you see at the, the gas station every day. It makes it acceptable to crush on somebody. It makes it acceptable to have that emotional relationship with somebody. And society tells us that we should get everything we need from one other person. Therefore, if we're not getting everything we need, we must be cheating. That's, that's programming to fail. Because while I strongly encourage people, marry your best friend. Don't marry for sex. I don't care how good the sex is. Marry your best friend and the sex will be good. If you aren't friends, you don't have a relationship. If you can't sit and talk till all hours of the night about what you plan for the future, you don't have a relationship. If there's somebody in your life that you sit and talk to a lot more than your significant other, you need to evaluate that. I am disjointed and not really getting the point across that I want. Oh well. Society gives permission through popular media that it's only human to cheat. And instead, society, through popular media, should be saying something along the lines of it's okay to have more than one person in your life. It's okay as long as everybody is acknowledging and consensual. Having an affair sucks. It's a breach of faith. When the hubby and I first got together, I had a 
I was dating other people for a while. And one of the things he said, I was like, are you jealous? Do you have a problem? He's like, oh, no, not at all. Just don't go out to eat without me. Because the boy's heart is in his stomach. So that was our rule for the longest time. Go to a concert, go to a, a whatever I'm doing. Just don't go to a really good restaurant without him because that he would be jealous of. He and I, my comment always is, you got a chance at a blowjob, job, go for it. I don't care. You want to have a, a, a relationship with somebody, go for it. But I would be jealous if he had a new best friend, in all honesty. If he had somebody he trusted and he, he gave emotions to in a friendship manner, that would hurt. You know? Because we're best friends. <sighs> Rules for dating my husband. Feed the man. Anyway, I, I don't really have the train of thought I thought I had, so I'll try this again another day. I'll talk to you later.